Hello there everyone, thanks for joining me at my bench once again. And today's tutorial I'm going to tie you up a fly that one of my subscribers requested. It's the good old gray fox, a real good old classic dry fly pattern. And I decided to tie this one up this time around for him, so we'll get this one a device, a fresh hook in, and I'll get started. And the hook is a must head 94840, and I'm tying them on a size 14 here. So I'll get that locked in the vise. And thread is a palish yellow Danville 6 op thread. And I'm going to start that thread right behind the eye here. And we're going to come back to almost halfway on the shank. Then we'll come back again towards the eye, about halfway onto that. And that's where we'll place our wing, right there. And the wing is just natural mallet flank. And one little tip I'll give you for wing, trying to find wing material is when you open up a bag of mallet flank feathers, you'll notice that a lot of them is, have a curl to them, a bend to them, uneven ends. If you can find a feather that has nice straight tips across the top, that's your best bet for wings for dry flies and wet flies for that matter. Just makes a little neater wing. I mean, the other feathers will work as well, but these ones will just make a better wing in the end. So I'm just going to bunch those up together in my fingers there. And I want those to be about hook shank length, so we'll measure those up. Jump ahead here, come down between my fingers, do a pinch wrap. I'm going to pull straight up on that. I want to make two or three wraps back. Then I'm just going to make sure that stayed right on the top. If you have to adjust it, just now's the time to adjust it. That looks good, and I'm going to clip that in on an angle here. Okay, now I'm going to grab that wing material and pull straight back on it. And I'm going to make a few wraps in front here to uh, prop that wing up. Just like so here. Alrighty, now to divide our wings, I'm going to just grab that all on my fingers there and I'm just going to grab my dubbing needle. This is just one way you can do it. And I'm going to just bring that needle down through and divide that in the center. And usually that will give you, that method will give you an even bunch on each side. That looks good. So I'm just going to pull those and I'm going to make cross wraps in between first here to get them divided for me the way I want them just like so do that two to three times okay now what I'm gonna do is take come up around with the thread underneath and over top around that far wing then underneath and over top the near wing I'm gonna do this two to three times and that's just going to uh, bring our wings together for us there okay and I'm gonna make one wrap behind pull snug on that just like so and that more or less will place your wings right where you want them lock them in place like so then I'm gonna wrap back here back towards the barb stop our thread right on top there right above the barb now, before I proceed, when I do my wings, what I like to do is I like to add a little drop of head cement right in between there, so that'll help keep those divided and propped up there when it, once it dries. Just a little drop, let it soak in. Okay, next is the tail, and I have some a ginger, so I'm going to pull off some ginger barbels here off a, a large dry fly neck hackle. Just going to pull some barbs off here, probably... 15 to 20 barbs I'd say if I was to count them but I don't think the trout are going to count so alright we'll measure that up about hook shank length and we'll tie those in on top here that looks good right there so I'm going to make a few wraps and then I'm going to come in and I want to snip off those hackle butts right hackle tip or excuse me hackle fiber ends right about where it meets the uh, where the wing butts were cut off there I want that to meet so I'll snip those out 
and we'll wrap that down just like so and come back alrighty now we're ready for our dubbing for the body and I have some tan colored uh, rabbit dubbing here just good old rabbit dubbing it calls for a red fox tan but that's the closest I have and that'll, that'll work just fine it's the same color tannish color and we'll build a little noodle here and just keep your noodle sparse remember it's dry flies you don't want to overdo it on the dub bodies just keep them you want them uniform but not too heavy and a little taper towards the wing okay I'm gonna try this and see where it takes me here gonna come right in front of the tail all right just proceed forward yeah I just want to touch more dubbing on this guy not a lot just a touch just a wee bit there alrighty okay just want a little bit more alright that's fine now you can see I got some wayward guard hairs there. I'm going to snip those out. We don't want those big guard hairs sticking out of there. Alrighty. Okay, there's the body. Now, we're going to tie in our hackles next. And I have a grizzly, one grizzly, and one ginger hackle here. And I got them ready to tie in. Got them all prepared and ready. All sized out for a 14 hook. Okay, and I'm going to tie those in on about a 45 degree angle right behind the wing here with the end at the dubbing body. And I want nice tight wraps on these guys. Wrap towards the wing, then jump in front. And just keep wrapping those down right behind the eye. And then I'm going to pull up on them here and snip those out of there. Okay, wrap those down, then I'm gonna just checking to make sure I got uniform uh, base there to wrap the hackle. You might have to do a few wraps to even that out, but that's fine. Alrighty, now we're ready to wrap. So, grab my hackle pliers, and we'll take this ginger hackle first and bring him around here. Grab him with the pliers, and usually I'll do two to three wraps behind the wing and two or three in front. So there's a couple in front, then I'm gonna jump, or behind I mean rather, and jump in front. Keep that first wrap close to the wing. And I'm just gonna wrap forward, two to three wraps. Just like so here. And I'll come up and tie off this time couple wraps behind that hackle tip to secure it in place remove the pliers make a couple more securing wraps another little tip I'll give you when you're wrapping dry fly hackle when you wrap that first hackle remember where you tied off the tip because when you wrap the second hackle when you go to tie off if you can tie that off the exact same spot or fairly close you'll have a good uniform hackle all the way around the fly and it'll set on the, the water much nicer that way and give you a better presentation that's just another little tip there alrighty now time for the grizzly hackle we'll bring him up around same deal but what I like to do as I'm wrapping him so I always wiggle that hackle back and forth the second hackle through the first so I try not to trap any uh, fibers down that way of course Oops. Try my other pliers here, those ones aren't bringing with me too much. Let's get these ones locked on. Alrighty, now we'll begin to wrap the grizzly. And as you can see, I wiggle that back and forth as I go. Now we'll jump in front here. And wrap this guy, same deal. One wrap right in front of the next. You can push the high fibers back with your fingers as you go. 
if you feel they're it's crowding the eye just keep them pushed back now we'll come in and tie this guy off same deal in the exact same spot I tied the first hackle release the pliers a couple wraps to secure him in then I'm gonna come in ever so careful and cut that tip out of there just like so alrighty now what I'm gonna do next is come in with my half hitch tool and make a half hitch knot half hitch here on this guy do a couple here snug it down okay now we're ready for a whip finish so I'll bring in my whip finisher here and don't be afraid to hold these all these fibers back if you feel they're going to be in your way here I'll just take my fingers and hold them back and we'll get four or five turns on the head of this guy just like so there we go Snug it in nice and tight. Trim off the excess. And check from just checking my hackle all the way around here. Looks good. Alrighty, there we have it. Another size 14 Gray Fox. Now all we got left to do, the final step I'll do is take a little bit of the solar res bone dry and put on my thread wraps just a touch you don't want too much here on this where to dry fly and all just enough to put a thin coat on the thread wraps there we go that's fine then I'll come in and uh, cure them up okay there we go alrighty he's a done deal so so the good old classic dry fly pattern and uh, works great, catches fish, that's for sure. So I'll see if I can get a little close up here without screwing up the focus too much. I don't have the best camera in the world, but anyhow, oops. So I hope you have the materials and uh, if you haven't already tied this guy, Definitely tie some up and add them to the box. So, until next time everyone. Happy tying out there. Stay safe. I'll see you all again soon. And uh, so long for now folks. And also, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button too if you wish. Appreciate that a lot. So, so long for now folks.